a fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship to determine who has control over Beatdown. Triple H representing Stephanie, Cesaro representing Stone Cold, Lesnar representing Paul Heyman, and Seth Rollins the Wild Card. The Empire, Samoa Joe, and Sheamus helping out Triple H. Oh, here comes Stone Cold! Stunner! 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 Phoenix Splash by Rollins! Stone Cold just helps Seth Rollins, but why? It is now up to the board directors to decide who has control of Beatdown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Beatdown, and it has been well over a month since our WrestleMania 3 pay-per-view in which Seth Rollins won the Fatal 4-Way match to become the WWE Champion, which also meant that it is up to the board of directors to decide who has control, who is the general manager of Beatdown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, the board of directors held a press conference, and what you're looking at now is some of the notable takeaways from that press conference. They addressed the fact that we are just 15 episodes away from the 100th episode of Beatdown, dating all the way back to WWE 13, so that right there is huge news regarding Beatdown. We are really close to a milestone of 100 episodes of Beatdown, and they address the general managers. With 15 episodes left to the 100th episode, we're going to have a new general manager every single week, starting tonight, here on Beatdown. So, 15 episodes, 15 general managers, one new general manager every week, and they want your feedback as to who you think should be the permanent general manager of Beatdown, and on the big milestone, the 100th episode of Beatdown, they will announce who is the permanent general manager of Beatdown. The board of directors also announced that Beatdown is getting some brand new championship designs. And take a look at these tiles, ladies and gentlemen, they're absolutely incredible. Here is the brand new Beatdown Cruiserweight Championship. Here is the brand new Hardcore title. The brand new Beatdown World Tag Team titles. The Intercontinental Championship. The Beatdown Women's Championship. And the brand new WWE Beatdown Championship. Now, let's find out who this week's general manager will be. Oh! <laughs> Can you believe it? He's back! Former WWE Champion and Leader of the S Movement! Daniel Bryan is our General Manager tonight! Look at this place, this crowd's on fire! The roof just blew off the arena! Beatdown is back! Let's start the show! Who's the boss? Dudes 
is lost. Don't think cause I'm iced out. I'ma cool off. Who else but me? And if you don't feel me, that means you can't touch me. It's ugly, trust me. Get it right, dog. We ain't never left. We just move in silence and rep to the death. It's official. I survived what I've been through. Y'all got drama. The saga continues. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't get stopped now. Cause it's bad boy for life. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't get stopped now. Cause it's bad boy for life. It's time for some action here on Beatdown. First matchup made by this week's general manager, Dalen O'Brien. Our intercontinental champion, AJ Styles, is in action. Will be taking on former friend and member of the Bullet Club, Carl Anderson. What a way to start the show. Daniel Bryan making his case. Giving us matchups like this. He wants to become the permanent general manager of Beatdown. See Anderson now making his way to the ring. And remember, it is your feedback, ladies and gentlemen. Your feedback that will determine who is the permanent general manager of Beatdown. Daniel Bryan, the first to make his impressions here tonight. Still got 14 more general managers to pick from. All leading up to the milestone 100th episode. The bell's been rung and we are on the way here on Beatdown. Over a month since we had some action. AJ Styles and Anderson is a great way to start. These two are former best friends. Along with Lou Gallows and the Bullet Club. Styles gets stabbed in the back by them when they join the Balor Club. At no mercy. More chain wrestling going on. AJ Styles. Duncan Anderson. Oh, but he comes back with a drop kick. Now sending AJ Styles face first into the mat. Anderson in control with a knee. Knee to the side has Styles. Look at that. Wearing down our Intercontinental Champion. Won that title at WrestleMania, defeating Finn Balor. 
The Battle Club was banned from ringside in that matchup. AJ Styles earned that right by beating Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows in singles matches leading up to WrestleMania. Nice baseball slide underneath Anderson into a Hurricane Rana. Now AJ Styles on the outside measuring up Anderson. Oh, Anderson got him so quick. He knows AJ Styles very well. He knew what was coming. And he was able to avoid it. On top of that barricade goes Anderson. Courtesy of our Intercontinental Champ AJ Styles. Back and forth action. Nice reversal by Anderson. Sending him back inside the ring. Several strikes, sending him into the corner. Styles now from the second rope. Oh! Now springboarding back inside, and AJ Styles just barely gets off that move there. They have misjudged him. Responds with a suplex to the middle of the ring. Now with the cover on Anderson, it's a kick out at one. Anderson dodges a kick. Ooh, headbutt. Goes for a super kick and misses. Styles. Oh, he's setting off for the Styles Clash. Can he get it off? Yes, he can. Styles Clash out of nowhere, Anderson. Oh, but a kick out of two. How quick is AJ Styles? Now immediately going right back on the attack. Hey, DDT in the middle of the ring. Another cover on Anderson. And another kick out. Kind of the champ looking to put away former friend Anderson. That may help his case there. Oh! This was that 450 springboard splash, but misses. Anderson saw it coming. Now Carl Anderson in control. These two have traveled around the world with each other. Know each other's move set. Styles comes crashing down from the top rope. Anderson with the cover on Styles. AJ Styles able to kick out. Styles gets sent to the outside floor. Back and forth on the outside. And Anderson sends Styles back inside the ring. Sidewalk slam. And we're going to pin our Intercontinental Champ here tonight. Styles with a reversal. Here comes AJ Styles. A tornado DDT in the middle of the ring. AJ Styles now measuring up Anderson. For the 
phenomenal forearm! Perfectly executed. Phenomenal forearm to Anderson. AJ Styles with the cover. Hook of the leg. And a victory. Back and forth matchup. But our Intercontinental Champion AJ Styles comes out on top against Carl Anderson to start off the night. And ladies and gentlemen, our next pay-per-view, which will be Bad Blood. An appropriately named pay-per-view, AJ Styles will defend that Intercontinental Championship against Finn Balor. And a WrestleMania 3 rematch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have a brand new superstar here on Beatdown for you to enjoy. Apollo Crews is in action next. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Hi, I'm Al Harrington, president and CEO of Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Emporium and Warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you! So come on down to Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Emporium and Warehouse. Route 2 in Weekapog! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown. The man that gravity forgot and former Intercontinental Champion Neville is in action. He will be taking on a newcomer here on Beatdown tonight. And just to think that around this time last year, Neville was a newcomer to beat down. And this should be an incredible matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the beat down. Apollo Crews. If you haven't seen this man in action yet, you are in for a treat. Him in a one-on-one -on -one match against Neville should be absolutely incredible. Great decision by this week's general manager, Daniel Bryan. Two incredible athletes going head to head. This is what beatdown is all about. Just shut up and fight. Cruising Neville. Neville with the advantage in the corner. Or if we having to separate the two. Cruzo with a right hand. Look at Apollo. Clothesline taken down. Neville. Oh, and Neville with a nice drop into the knee. And a standing moonsault. 
Springboarding! There's a reason why he's called the man that Gravity forgot. And as I mentioned earlier, it was around this time last year that Neville was a newcomer to beat down. And out here tonight, he's taking on newcomers. His first year on Beatdown, Neville made a huge impact, defeating Kevin Owens to become Intercontinental Champion. Went on to hold that title for a few months until losing it to Finn Balor. What kind of an impact is Cruz going to make? As Neville is currently all over the place on top of Cruz. Powell trying to battle back. Last thing you want to do is lose your debut matchup. So far, Neville is one step ahead of Cruz. Cover on Apollo. Kick out at one. Cruz with that knee to the head. Avoiding that suplex. And a DDT by Apollo. Look at Apollo Cruz go. An incredible athlete, much like Neville. Look at that! I think Gravity forgot two men, not just one. Cover on Neville and a kick out of one. Actually two that was. Nice suplex by Cruz. Another cover, another kick out of two. Neville with the reversal. Look at Neville. Standing Hurricane Rana to Apollo Crews. Covering the immediate kick out. Crews. Reversal. Look at this. Cruz maybe showing up Neville here. Anything you could do, I could do better. Kick out. Neville still in this matchup. Oh, Cruz with Neville. Rope. Oh, what a suplex. Oh, look at Cruz. Oh, look at the strength of Apollo. Pure strength on that. Oh, and Neville kicks out of two. Apollo Cruz can't believe he goes for another cover. And another kick out. Cruz trying to win his debut matchup. So far having a hard time putting away Neville. We're going for a suplex. Power Cruz with a reversal. Oh, no way. Neville's halfway across the ring. Apollo with a headbutt. Diving headbutt to Neville now. Another cover. And only a two.
a bridging pin combination on Neville. Oh, it's still kicking out. Apollo is showing off his strength. Another standing moonsault. Now he's got Neville up. Once again, showcasing his strength. Oh, no way! A victory in his debut. Impressive. Has Neville met his match? Talk about how incredible Neville is. Calling Neville the man that gravity forgot, but... I think Apollo Crews just showed him up. Great job, Apollo. Great debut. And ladies and gentlemen, just just in, from this week's general manager, Daniel Bryan, our main event of the evening will be for the beatdown championship. Cesaro is finally getting his one-on-one -on -one rematch. He is taking on our newly crowned champion, Seth Rollins, in our main event. This is a huge announcement, ladies and gentlemen, and wait, hold on. One second. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told that we're going backstage right now. There's something going on backstage. Hold on. Hardcore champ Randy Orton confronting Dean Ambrose backstage. Backstage confrontation going on here. So Ambrose there blocking the way of Orton. Orton not taking that too lightly. And he's stomping the mud hole. And Dean Ambrose, but Ambrose sending him into that crate. Diving on top of Wharton. Oh! Sending him into the lockers. Dean Ambrose is taking it to a hardcore champ backstage. There was a referee back there. Ambrose can go for a pin and become our new hardcore champ. Oh, but here comes the Viper. And with a trash can. The Apex Predator. Into the skull of Ambrose. It was Dean Ambrose sent outside. Now Randy Orton. On that hard floor with an RKO! Still not done. Oh, my God. How are these two still going on? Randy Orton making Dean Ambrose pay. Oh! Sent to that locker. Oh, 
got another RKO! Thanks for watching Beatdown on the ELT Network. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss another action-packed episode of Beatdown. What the? What the hell is this chicken doing here? Oh, here comes the Colonel! Business has just picked up. What do you know about chicken, chicken? <laughs> oh, what a slam! Oh, shucky, ducky, quack, quack! Round, round, and round he goes. When he'll stop, nobody knows. Put him in the deep fryer, this one is over! KFC, it's finger licking good! Well ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown! We have restored order backstage, of the backstage brawl and... Oh my god, look at this guy! Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is, uh... Wow. Um, it is time for a, a new segment here on Beatdown, courtesy of Reigns the Bounty Hunter. This is Bounty Reigns Felon of the Week. And I just got this in. This guy's name is James Ellsworth. And... Are you kidding me? This guy's a felon? Uh, apparently he is. His felonies include Grand Theft Auto, public intoxication, and violating his parole. There's a $5,000 bounty on this guy. And if he wins this matchup, he is cleared of all felonies. Wow. This is, uh, this is something different. I don't think he's going to win, but he has a chance to clear his name. But here comes Reigns, the bounty hunter. Looking to claim ten, actually five thousand dollars. Sorry, five thousand dollar reward for James Ellsworth. And another felon off his hit list. WrestleMania 3. Bounty Reigns took on former Shield brother Dean Ambrose for the Hardcore title. He went on to win the Hardcore title, however, it was Randy Orton, who we just saw moments ago backstage brawling with Dean Ambrose, that hit Bounty Reigns with an RKO out of nowhere to become new Hardcore champ. James Ellsworth looking to clear his name. Bounty Reigns looking to earn five grand. Here we go. 
Oh, and a huge clothesline. Almost taking James Ellsworth's head clean off. How was he able to get back up from that? Bounty Reigns go. Elbow drop after elbow drop to Ellsworth. Oh my god, an electric chair! Down goes Ellsworth. Right back to the elbows. Oh! There's was going for a neck break, but he just turned into a punch. Back of the head of Ellsworth. Trying to crawl his way up. Oh! Goes for a Superman punch. Ellsworth dodges. Oh! Bounty Reigns is not like that. And this time he nails him with that Superman punch. God. Oh, we've seen this before. Oh, no, you'll kill him. Oh, a spear to the outside floor. My God. Ellsworth is broken in half. He's, he, he might be dead. Dude weighs like 70 pounds. 70 pounds wet. Going for the cover on the outside. This is false count anywhere. And Ellsworth. Oh, he gets the shoulder up. Stay down, Ellsworth. Stay down. Go for a belly belly suplex. Oh, here comes James Ellsworth. Here comes Ellsworth. We're going to clear his name. Oh, a suplex to Bounty Reigns. Here comes Ellsworth. Oh, my God. Inverted DDT. Ellsworth's going for a weapon. He's got a sledgehammer. And... Oh, so much for that. Body slammed by Bounty Reigns. So much for that comeback. Oh! Now Bounty Reigns brutalizing him with that same sledgehammer. Oh, he tripped him up! And... Ellsworth gets sent to the steel steps. Now Bounty Reigns with those same steel steps. Oh, he's crushing Ellsworth. James Ellsworth probably should have just stood down when he had the chance. Oh my god. How is he not dead? We should be thankful. If he still has a pulse, he should count his lucky stars tonight that he's not dead yet. He hasn't moved since being crushed with those steel steps. This is all fun and games to Bounty Reigns. Ellsworth can barely get up to his feet. He's a felon, but you kind of feel sorry for him. 
kind of feel sorry for James Ellsworth here. He's being brutalized. Oh, and a huge spear. Look at that replay. He's got to have shattered ribs. From Grand Theft Auto. The public intoxication. Violating his parole. And now he's going behind bars. And Bounty Reigns has earned himself five grand for that. Referee's checking on Ellsworth. He might be dead. Is he still breathing, ref? Do you need help? Should I call 911? Bounty Reigns is victorious here tonight. Some say he was a drug lord. Others say he was a mobster. Some say he just got all his money from inheritance. But one thing's for sure. He's very, very rich. And he's coming to beat down. Alberto El Patron. Coming soon to beat down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but here comes Miss WrestleMania. Yep, you heard me correctly. Here comes Miss WrestleMania. She won the Miss WrestleMania Battle Royal at WrestleMania last month. Eve Marie is Miss WrestleMania. However, I'm looking at the, tonight's card, and uh, she's not scheduled to compete. I don't know what she's doing out here. Maybe she's just out here to grace us with her presence. So, let's all get a good look at Ms. WrestleMania. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just just in some breaking news. Uh, so far, I think Daniel Bryan has done a great job as general manager here tonight. However, this just in. Next week's general manager will be Stephanie McMahon. She is in charge of Beatdown next week, and she's already making matchups. Our main event next week here on Beatdown, The Game. Her husband, Triple H, will be in action. He is getting his rematch for the Beatdown Championship. He will be taking on tonight's winner of the main event, which is Seth Rollins defending the title against Cesaro. So this is huge news. Next week, whoever will be crowned beatdown champion tonight will face the game. Here comes the boss! Who at WrestleMania stabbed the new women's order in the back, betrayed Paige, and became our new women's champion. We haven't heard from the new women's order since. And coming up next is a triple threat match to determine the number one contender. For the Women's Championship. Sasha Banks out here. To get a nice front row seat.
ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown. As promised, a triple threat match to determine the number one contender for the Women's Championship. Former Women's Champ Becky Lynch, currently in the ring. Her opponent One of the first women to rebel against the new women's order Emma Who seems to have a new look and new attitude here tonight No longer being the fun-loving dancing queen anymore. She appears to be more serious here tonight. She would love a shot at Sasha Banks. Love a shot to become the women's champ. And how about this? Continuing the trend of new superstars here tonight. From WWE's NXT. She's a hugger. It's Bailey. Beatdown is loaded. Some would say overloaded with talent. And here tonight in her debut matchup, she has a chance to become number one contender for the women's title. Crowd loving it. Hashtag women's wrestling. We are underway. Oh, look at Emma immediately going for former women's champ Becky Lynch. Emma with a new attitude to her. Bailey, though. New superstar taking her down. Oh, look at Bailey from the top rope diving down on top of Emma. What a fast paced way to start. All three of these women want to be number one contender for Sasha Banks' women's title. Currently on the outside floor, it's a double team to Bailey. Now Becky taking it to Emma. Every woman for herself. And right now it's Becky Lynch in control. Emma though from behind. It gets sent back inside the ring. Bulldog to Emma. Becky Lynch now. DDT to Bailey. Spiking around her head. A 
body splash by Emma. Look out, Emma! Here comes Bailey! Oh, but Bailey misses. Cover and broken up. Bailey in her debut matchup. Looking to make a huge impact. Becoming number one contender for the women's title. Crowd starting to get behind her. And a body splash to Becky Lynch. Bailey with the cover and a kick out. Emma gets sent to the outside floor. Becky Lynch taking down Bailey. Bailey having the roll to the outside floor. Meanwhile, back inside the ring, Emma setting up Becky Lynch in the tree of woe. Catching Bailey from the top rope. This time she saw her coming. Cover and a kick out. Bailey with a reversal. Needs to the skull of Emma. She goes for a cover and a kick out. Becky Lynch. Back suplex to Bailey. Emma though tossing Becky halfway across the ring. And now it's Emma in control. And with Becky O and DDT! Bailey sending Becky back inside the ring. Emma now gets sent to the outside floor. Bailey. Oh, what's she thinking here? What is she thinking here? Somebody call the suicide hotline. It's a suicide dive by Bailey. Emma crashing. You saw right there, she just crashed right into the barricade. Bailey impressive in her beatdown debut. I'm going back inside the ring. Dodges a kick from Becky Lynch. And right now, Bailey is on fire. Taking care of Emma. Bailey the belly. And now, one for Emma. Double finishers. Bailey is number one contender. What a debut. Congratulations and welcome to Beatdown Bailey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got some more announcements for you next week, right here on the ELT Network on Beatdown. 
CM Punk, otherwise known as Phillip Brooks, will be addressing the Beatdown Universe on his actions at WrestleMania. Has he turned his back on the Wyatt family? Is he back to his roots of being the old CM Punk? We'll find out next week as he addresses the Beatdown Universe. Also, another man that made his Beatdown debut, but at WrestleMania, and defeated the legendary Rey Mysterio to become our new Cruiserweight Champion. TJ Perkins is in action. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is main event time. Seth Rollins defending the Beatdown World Championship against Cesaro. Winner faces the game Triple H next week on Beatdown. And gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown. Main event time is almost here. The Swiss Superman and former WWE Champion. Cesaro! Cesaro finally getting his one-on-one -on -one rematch. Comes our new champion. And look at that wrapped around his waist. It's the brand new Beatdown World Championship. Won the title at WrestleMania 3 in that fatal four way match. Getting the pinfall on Triple H with the help of our former general manager, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He is currently the man, the architect, Seth Rollins. new beatdown world championship is on the line there you see Cesaro and the beatdown world champ Seth Rollins Kick off the return of Beatdown here tonight. What a main event. World titles on the line. Cesaro and Rollins. It's main event time. And here we go. Winner faces the game next week for the title.
Rollins had the advantage in that tie-up. They lock up again. Again, Rollins with the advantage. And he takes down Cesaro. Oh, look at that. Cesaro in for Rebel Cup and missed. Was he even aiming for that Seth Rollins is the question. Very unlike Cesaro that actually missed something. Ever since Cesaro won that title months ago, he's been on a roll. However, that roll got cut once Triple H defeated him at the Royal Rumble. And so far, Cesaro has been on a downward spiral. Look at the changes fortunes here tonight. And once again, recapture the gold. Seth Rollins, though, so far in control, but here comes Cesaro. Look at that German suplex. Another suplex to Rollins. Oh, and Cesaro gets sent head first to the second turnbuckle pad. Goes for a cover and kicks out. How did he recover so quickly going head first into the second turnbuckle pad? Underneath that pad is solid steel. Cesaro with a nice suplex. Cesaro picking his parts against Rollins. Rollins trying to battle back. Oh, neck first on the bottom rope. Rollins again using that bottom rope. Pandering to the crowd. Cesaro tries to make his way back up to his feet. Our world champ is currently in control. But here comes the Swiss Superman. Sending Rollins into the corner. Rollins able to dodge. Goes for a crossbody and misses. Seth Rollins, quick roll up, no! Oh! Super kick right to the jaw! Back and forth these two are going. Rollins will kick to the midsection. Curb stomp! To Cesaro! Oh man! That looks devastating! Kick out at two! Rollins was arguing with the ref. He thought it was three. Cesaro, with a split second of spare, get his shoulder up. But how close was Seth Rollins to retaining the title? Here tonight in our main event. Keep in mind, next week the winner faces Triple H. He is no easy opponent. 
Especially with Stephanie McMahon in charge next week. And who knows where the Empire is. They may make their appearance next week. As both these men try to end this matchup as quick as they can. Knowing that Triple H is right around the corner. Cesaro now measuring up Seth Rollins. Oh, he's going for a neutralizer. Can he get it off? Yes, he can. Neutralizer. New champ. New champ. No. Shoulder up. Cesaro. Sending Rollins into the corner. Rapid fire uppercuts. And another. And another. Rollins able to dodge. Go for a roll up? No. Another super kick to the jaw. And now Seth Rollins. He's measuring up Cesaro. Phoenix Splash by our champion. Same move that he won the title with. He retains the title tonight with that same move. Seth Rollins is still beatdown world champion. Oh, and Triple H with sledgehammer in hand attacking our world champ. Oh, several shots. To the back and spine. Now stomping Seth Rollins. Rollins crawling. The game just keeping him down. Oh my god. To the back of the head and neck. Where the hell did Triple H come from? Spine Buster! We're free. You gotta get in there. You gotta stop this attack. Oh no, a pedigree to Rollins! Busting him open! Rollins is busted open from that pedigree. You can see the blood pouring down his face. Oh, come on, enough is enough! Not another one! A second pedigree to Rollins! This is just disgusting. Triple H brutally attacking our world champ here tonight. And he's got a title match against him next week. Hope you're proud of yourself, Triple H. I guess he had one more Falcon knee left in him. And he just used it on the game. 
And I am so glad he did. The S movement is alive and well here tonight. Great job as this week's general manager by Daniel Bryan. Stevie McMahon is in control next week. But for tonight, from Beatdown, good night everybody.